guys, so today we're going to be making a PVC enclosure that you can use for your larger snakes or snakes that you don't want to put in racks, uh, more of a display type cage. So let's get to it. Alright guys, let's go through the materials real quick. Um, obviously first you've got the 4x8 sheet of PVC. Uh, this is called Veranda HP Trim. It's a half inch open cellular PVC. You can get it at Home Depot. Uh, and then to cut it, uh, we've got this straight piece of wood here. You can use a 2x4 or anything that's uh, got a really straight edge. And then you just attach the clamps on either side. And the purpose of this is to uh, provide a straight edge for the guide of the circular saw. And then you can make a really straight cut um, along all along the edge uh, as opposed to freehanding it. And then we've got um, the acrylic. Uh, this is quarter inch acrylic. Um, and we're going to cut this with a, um, uh, a jigsaw, or, or sorry, it's a saber saw. And, um, and then we've got here to actually put this together, PVC glue. And this is just your standard, I guess, uh, heavy duty clear PVC cement. And screws, because this is a half inch thick PVC, so you can actually use one inch screws sheet metal screws to hold it together uh, in addition to the PVC so we're going to be doing both and then um, for the door assembly uh, we've got a window sh uh, sash locks uh, which are going to be we have three of them one on each side and one in the middle and th those are going to uh, actually be the latches for the door to keep it closed and then we've got these cap nuts which are uh, also called acorn nuts you can see they're kind of acorn shaped and you just get these along with matching bolts or uh, these are actually uh, slotted uh, round head machine screws but they're basically going to uh, serve the same purpose so these are just going to be for attaching the hinges onto the acrylic onto the door and then for the other side of the of the hinges which are going to be attached to the PVC cage uh, we're going to attach those just with the screws. Okay, so when you're making your measurements, um, just make sure that you actually measure the distance from the edge of the guide to the blade, and then you add that to whatever you want to cut, and then you put down your straight piece of wood, and that way you compensate for the guide and what it's actually cutting is the piece that you want to cut. So the jig that we used actually worked out extremely good. Um, you can see here uh, the edges turned out super smooth. Uh, the pieces are totally square. Um, so I would highly recommend using that method. So the next thing we need to do, we have all our pieces cut out that we're going to need. Uh, the next thing that we're going to need to do is just uh, use this uh, the jigsaw here, or the saber saw, excuse me, to cut out the hole in the front where the door is going to go. So to start that out, we're going to just need to drill a hole in one of the corners. You can see we have it marked out there uh, so that we can get the saber saw blade in there and uh, cut it out. And we're going to use the same method as before with the circular saw. We're just going to use a straight piece of wood, attach it with the clamps, and that way we'll get a nice straight cut. So the space for the door is all cut out. Uh, one thing to note with the saber saw was that it really wasn't any more, any easier using that guide uh, as it was with the circular saw. Uh, it's better to just to just freehand it pretty much, and and the end result is that you get some uh, inconsistencies. But what I had to just do was uh, just take a sanding block or 
an orbital sander or something like that and just and just sand it down and it's going to be a tiny bit inconsistent but in the end uh, it's not that bad and uh, it would probably the the best way to do this would be to use a router uh, but being as I don't have one uh, I just used the saber saw and, and uh, sanded it. Now we're ready to cut the plexiglass for the door, or the acrylic. And uh, we've just got to clamp down. We're going to freehand it with the saber saw. Uh, one thing to note on this is that uh, make sure you've got a new blade, just to make sure that it's the uh, cleanest cut you can. Make sure it's sharp. And uh, again, a router would probably work better for this, but uh, we don't have that option, so we're just going to attempt it with the saber saw. So here's the finished plexiglass. Uh, it actually worked out pretty good without the guide. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot of problem uh, actually cutting it. I sanded it a little bit. Uh, just make sure that when you're doing this uh, you measure the actual distance between uh, where your door is going to go because uh, it can vary a tiny bit, you know, 16th or whatever through here, especially since I freehanded the top here. So you want to just make sure that it all fits in properly before you put the hinges on or anything like that. And as you can see, it fits in perfectly. Next step, of course, is to uh, mark out where your hinges are going to be. And this is where the acorn nuts and the bolts are going to come in. So we're going to uh, we've marked out where our hinges are going to be. Those are where we're going to drill our holes. And then the bolt and the nut are going to go through here to secure the hinge to the plexiglass. So now we're going to go ahead and drill these holes. We've marked them out. And one thing to remember when you're drilling acrylic is you want to put a piece of wood underneath to support it because if you just went like this and then just drilled off the edge of the table or whatever, uh, you have a high risk of, of cracking it. Once you've got your holes drilled, installing the hinges is really easy. All you have to do is line them up, put the bolts in, and uh, use these to screw on the other side. So when you're selecting your bolts, you just want to make sure they're the correct length because you don't want them to be uh, sticking out on the other side too far, so use just the right um, uh, length for that. Uh, what I'm using here, uh, which I've shown before, but they're just uh, half inch, and this is quarter inch uh, plexiglass, so it works out perfectly. Um, so the next step, is uh, just to start putting everything together and uh, install the door. Now we're going to put the window latches on. So as you can see, you just line them up there. Uh, just make sure they're equal distance from the top so they, they look good. Uh, and just drill the holes in, uh, or sorry, drill the screws in. We've got all the hinges on now, and I just want to quickly address um, this uh, lip that I'm making on the top edge, uh, which the purpose of this is for the door to um, sit on or to rest against uh, when it's closed because if you don't have it then it's going to just uh, fall in obviously. So uh, what we're doing here is we're just using some extra acrylic that we have. Um, I cut some uh, thin pieces here. Uh, we're just going to, as you can see, they overlap about a quarter inch over the edge and that's what the door is going to rest on and I just uh, drilled some holes in the acrylic and we're just going to screw them into the PVC. And uh, uh, one thing that's great about the PVC is that there's no pre-drilling required. It really doesn't crack or anything like that uh, from what I've seen. So, uh, so far it's been really easy to work with. So here it is, all screwed in. Uh, one thing to um, note on this is that the better way of doing this would have been to actually just router a quarter inch since the since the acrylics a quarter inch thick just router a quarter inch uh, a little notch here for the for it to rest in but being as I don't have a router again um, I'm a bit of, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage so I just uh, I just opted for this technique instead 
Now when you're attaching the latches on to the actual PVC, you want to make sure you use some kind of spacer. And here, I don't know if you can see, but I'm using uh, just a couple paper clips to make sure that there's enough of a gap that the door will be able to actually open. So here it is, all done. This is the finished product. So you can see here how it works. Latches open. Really easy. Door opens. You can see the, uh, the lip that it fits on, the acrylic lip. And it just goes right up against it like that. And then you close the latches. And then off camera, I also installed this LED light. Uh, these are really nice. You can get them at Menards or Home Depot and you just screw them into the top and uh, wire it onto, the, onto a spare plug that you might have because it didn't come with a plug. But very simple to do overall. Uh, this PVC material is super easy to work with, easier to cut than wood, um, really easy to glue and, uh, and screw and hold screws really well. So anyone that wants to build an enclosure like this, I'd highly recommend using this uh, half-inch PVC. Alright, thanks for watching guys.